Hello everyone. In this video, we have this interesting problem. We have 4 to the power n plus 8 to the power n is equal to 36. And we have to find the value of n where n is a real number. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, please consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Now let's get started. This 4 could be written as 2 to the power 2, then or to the power n plus 8 could also be written as 2 to the third power, then or to the power n. And this is equal to 36. Now from indices, a to the power m or to the power n is the same as a to the power m times n. And it is also the same as a to the power n or to the power m. So what it means is that we can interchange n and then 3 straight away, right? So we have 2 to the power n or to the power 2 plus 2 to the power n or to the power 3. And this is equal to 36. Now let's go ahead and then let's 2 to the power n equal to m. So in place of 2 to the power n, we're going to put m. So the equation becomes m to the second power plus m to the third power is equal to 36. Now let's equate everything to zero. We have m to the third power plus m to the second power minus 36 is equal to zero. Now how do we solve this nice exponential equation? The first thing I'm going to do is to find one of the roots of this exponential equation. And after that, I will use that root to find the others and then solve them. So let's test and see if m is equal to 1, it is obvious that this equation will not be equal to 0 because we're going to have 1 plus 1, which is equal to 2, 2 minus 36 will never give us 0. So this one will not work. Let's test m is equal to 2. If m is equal to 2, we're going to have 8 plus 4, which is 12, and this one will never equal to 0. So this one will also not work. Now let's test m is equal to 3. If m is equal to 3, we have 3 to the third power plus 3 to the second power minus 36. And this is equal to 0. Now we have 3 to the third power to be 27 plus 3 to the second power, that is 9, minus 36. And this must be 0. Now we have 27 plus 9, which is 36, then minus 36 here. And this is equal to 0. And of course, this is equal to 0. So it means that m minus 3 is a root to this problem. Right. So what we are going to do is to find the other root of this problem by using the long division method. So we have m minus 3. Then, then we have the equation to be m to the third power plus m to the second power minus 36. So let's find the other root by using the long division method. m goes into m to the third power, m to the second power. Now let's multiply this. m squared times m, that is m cubed. Then m squared times negative 3, we have negative 3 m squared. Now let's subtract. We have m cubed minus m cubed, that is 0. Then m squared minus minus 3 m squared, that is 4m squared, then we have, we bring this negative 36, m goes into 4m squared, we have 4m, 4m times m, that is 4m squared, 4m times negative 3, we have negative 12m, then we will subtract again, we have 4m squared minus 4m squared, that will be 0, then 0m plus 12m, that will be 12m, then we'll bring our negative 36. M goes into 12M. We have 12. 12 times M, that is 12M. Then 12 times 3, that is negative 36. Then let's subtract. 12M minus 12M, that will be 0. Then negative 36, negative, negative 36, that will be 0. So we have here to be 0. So it means that this whole thing is the other root of the equation. Right, so we have m minus 3 as one of the roots. Then we have 
then we have this root then which is m squared plus 4m plus 12 and this must be 0 so at this point we can say that m minus 3 is equal to 0 or m squared plus 4m plus 12 should be 0. Now let's go ahead and then find m from this equation and straight away we can see that m is equal to 3 from here. Now let's pay attention to this quadratic equation. We will first check the behavior of this equation by using the discriminant formula which is delta is equal to b squared minus 4ac and for this to have a real root this equation must be greater than or equal to 0. So let's discriminate. b here is 4 so we have 4 to the second power minus 4. a is 1 so we have times 1 then c is 12 and this must be greater than or equal to 0 when there is real root right. So 4 squared is 16 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 12 that is 48 so we have 48 here and this must be greater than or equal to 0. 16 minus 48 that is negative 32 which is less than 0. So we can say that this quadratic equation has no real root right. So we are not going to consider it at all. Our attention is going to be on this m but remember we said that m is equal to 2 to the power n. So this implies that 2 to the power n is equal to 3. Now let's go ahead and then introduce log in base 10 on the both sides of the equation. So we have log 2 to the power n is equal to log 3. Now from the properties of log, this exponent will then becomes the coefficient. So we can write this as n log 2 and this is equal to log 3 and this is in base 10 remember now we are looking for n so let's divide each side of the equation by log 2 so that this log 2 will cancel this now we are left with n is equal to log 3 over log 2 and this is also the same as log base 2 of 3 so in all we have n is equal to log base 2 of 3 and this is our final answer to this problem. So guys I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Have a nice day and see you again on the next video.